This video is the product of the Functional Cranial Release Research Institute. For difficult neurologic conditions that no one seems to have answers for, visit FunctionalCranialRelease.com. Here you see the nerve cells which are still existing. Mm -hmm. You see that in the audiometry that the deep sounds are still existing, but the high sound, sounds, they are not, they are like worked away. Mm -hmm. The patient, these are the sounds that are usually gone first. And these are the sounds which are usually gone first because the high sounds, they are more aggressive. Mm -hmm. They are um, not, not so natural. Mm -hmm. We don't have so high sounds in our natural environments. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I've been working with for many years is um, the treatment of patients with, with vestibular disorders. And yes. within that, you see a lot of people come in, they have tinnitus, yes. that's ringing in their ears. Yeah. And it can just be deafening for some people. Um, and a lot of people don't really understand why, what's actually happening, why they're hearing that, that tinnitus. I mean, what, what, what's really happening there? Okay, I think that this is a this is very important to explain. Just imagine um, if you have a quiet, if you have a quiet situation. Uh, in a quiet situation, your inner ear cells they have a kind of potential. Mm -hmm. This this potential means if you have a sound, sound is coming to the ear. This sound is nothing else than the movement of the air. Mm -hmm. The movement of the air is brought to the ear, is brought to the eardrum, the eardrum is moving, the movement of the eardrum is transported by our ear bones mm -hmm. to the inner ear. In the inner ear, this air movement is changed in a liquid movement. Mm -hmm. So the inner ear is a liquid filled hole in the bone. Mm -hmm. And in this liquid, we have inside our inner ear cells. Mm -hmm. And as soon as they're in this um, liquid situation, there uh, is coming, it's a wave, mm -hmm. it's a kind of wave, and this wave causes a movement of our inner ear cells. Mm -hmm. And now you have to know that the inner ear cells, they are like, a, compared with the light switch, mm -hmm. if I switch on the light or off. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I have the information, there is a sound, yeah? because they are moving, mm -hmm. the light switch is on, so we have the information to the brain, here is a sound. But when the sound is off again, you have to put a back the light switch, you have to put it back on zero. Mm -hmm. And all the work that is done from the inner ear cells is to recreate the quietness. Mm -hmm. So it means work mm -hmm. to have quietness again. So it's an active, it's an active exactly. thing for you to have quiet. Exactly, not the hearing is active, the hearing happens passive. So that's important because then you know because the cell cannot make a decision to hear it or not to hear it. It must hear it yeah. because there is coming the movement of the wave in the inner ear, mm -hmm. and this causes that I compare it with the light, light switch. The light is on, so the sound is on. Mm -hmm. Now we have to switch it off, again. Mm -hmm. and switching it off means that the cell needs energy. Mm -hmm. Okay, and here is the problem. If the cell is ill, the cell doesn't have enough energy to switch back again to quietness. Mm -hmm. So we have the information that there is a sound, even if there is no external sound. Mm -hmm. The cell is producing the whole time neurotransmitter. Mm -hmm. um, so we have the information that there is sound. Mm -hmm. Our brain tells us there is a sound, but there is no external sound. Mm -hmm. It's produced by the inner ear cell itself. Mm -hmm. She's, oh, she, the cell is too weak uh -huh. to switch off. Huh. So, so the, the actual tinnitus, the perception of that frequency is actually due to the nerves that carry that frequency or transmit that frequency absolutely. are actually dying or degenerating. Well, they are not that. That's an absolutely wrong. A lot of patients come with the information that anything is dead, mm -hmm. but this is not dead. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely not true. As long as you can hear something, this means as long as in the hearing test mm -hmm. you have the possibility, even if you need a very loud noise, you have the possibility 
that you hear something, this cell is still living. Mm. If it would be dead, there would be no transport. It just can't produce the energy. Exactly. I understand. Hi, this is Dr. John. Thanks for joining me. If you or a loved one suffers from difficult neurologic conditions that no one seems to have answers for, send them to functionalcranialrelease.com. You can contact me by phone or email me at askdrjl at gmail.com. And remember, if healing is possible, consider it to be within your reach. Bye for now. Functionalcranialrelease.com